Hi everyone, today I'm trying out PopOS and I was actually really looking forward to doing this because for months people have been telling me that it is super cool with its tiling capa capabilities and its style. So I really wanted to see what's the truth behind those words. So let's look into it. And of course the first big change that I see is the bottom bar, which is uh, not coming from GNOME differently differently from the top one. And so let's see what icons are there in that one, except for, of course, the applications. So the first one is the same as the meta key and it's this cool launcher. And I can see if we, if we pop up a couple of applications, it will actually list by default the applications we have. It looks like KRunner, but it also like by default lets you switch between apps and using just the keyboard super useful i like the idea and you can even filter between them if i type home i can switch to that one and of course i can also search for anything pretty much and also like shut down very useful a keyrunner sort of functionality that's mapped by default to meta and i like it I've been told it does not search between files and that's an issue. However, it's such a minor thing that I would expect that feature to drop pretty soon. The second one is workspaces, which is the GNOME work activity, I think it's called view. And you can switch between the workspaces. And uh, in this case, they're on the left in this floating bar. And I like the style more than the one from GNOME actually. And if we press on applications here or here, it's the same thing. We get a list of applications. Now, I wish that the background of this page, which is opaque, was transparent like this one. I think it looks much better. And I also kind of wish that it blurred the background because it's actually not CPU uh, intensive at all. You can just blur it one time when the wallpaper is changed and then keep it in the, in the RAM and then just display it. So it would be like not CPU expensive, very pretty, so could be a suggestion. Then moving on, we can uh, see one of the main features of PopOS, which is tiling. And this is what interested me the most. So if we press it, it will tile just like that. It works. And I can also see there are some gaps between the windows and other windows and the panels, which look really nice. I'm, I, I think it's the right amount by default, but of course we can change it. I'll go with 10 because I like seeing part of my wallpaper. And there's lots of other stuff you can customize. So first of all, this shortcuts button, if you press it, opens up a window with all of the shortcuts. It's very useful. Now I can, I know that, well, I, let me show you one thing first. If I actually drag two windows on top of each other, I get this tabbed feature, which was there in like Plasma 4, KD4, sorry, back then, and then got lost in the transition. So it's very nice that Pop has brought tabbed windows back. The look of the tabs is very uh, tiling window manager-ish, but it's fine. And yes, I was saying that as a negative thing. And in here, we get all of the shortcuts and just like that, I know that I can switch between the windows using meta and the arrows as an example. And I can also drag window windows around using the meta key. Looks very nice like this this and I, I'm actually really happy to see tapped windows come back because they're super useful and I was totally not expecting that. There are a couple of other options such as changing the accent color for uh, the active you know window and also for the preview of where the window is going to be. There are some tiling scripts for Queen but none are this good they don't display where the window is going to be and i think it's really nice i like it next up is in settings i've noticed this thing let's open it up here without breaking anything thank you and in desktop there are a lot of buttons that 
weren't there. So, first of all, background-wise, I've seen these wallpapers very nice, but these ones, I just fell in love with them. They look so nice, these cartoon-ish space-inspired wallpapers, I love them. Then, desktop, we can change a lot of stuff. First of all, the shortcut of the super key, what's going to do. Right now, of course, it's the this coroner sort of things that's called launcher, but you can also choose between workspaces and applications. Now, in Plasma, you can also change the shortcut of what, uh, in my opinion, is the most important key in the keyboard, the meta key. But to do that, you need to get to the shortcut that you want to change. I set it to, I think, Alt F12, which is counterintuitive. Nobody is going to know that shortcut if we don't tell them so. So it's very nice that they just present you with the three most common options and you can just switch between them. We also get hot corners, whether we want both buttons in the top uh, bar and well, uh, Windows controls. We get the minimize button by default, which I think is appropriate with the choice of having a task manager or dock to the bottom. And then we get appearance, switching between light and dark. I'll keep dark because it's prettier in this case, although I use breeze light. And then lots, lots of options for the dock. As an example, in this case, we get both some uh, pre-made options for the dock size, but we can also choose a custom one. I think it's a very nice touch, like allowing to change between the three most common uh, options and then allowing a custom one, like it. And then we can also choose wh when, where uh, to show the dock, whether to show the dock at all, and uh, primary display, stuff like that, automatically hide, the kind of st stuff that you would expect. And finally, in workspaces, we can choose whether we want dyna dynamic workspaces or a fixed number of them. Personally, I would keep the dynamic workspaces. I really like that concept. It's really useful to just pop up this one, um, change the workspace of a window and then have a new, new one. So I like it. Let's get back to settings. And we can also choose where to put the this bar whether we want it to the left to the top to the right so very nice i i'm not showing you these things because they are to do this is a beta it would be unfair to expect that everything works nicely i had a couple of crashes before it doesn't really matter for a beta what i'm looking right now at are the new features and there are a lot of them and overall i really like it the only like couple of things that i don't fully appreciate uh, first one, but this one is on me. Having both a bottom bar and a top bar feels a bit claustrophobic, but really that's me. I just wish that there was an option to unfill the dock or make it floating, which looks very nice. And But it's not really important. What's important, and since GNOME 40 has it, I kind of expect uh, PopOS to get it soon as well, is keyboard gestures. And right now there's pretty much none, as um, at least that I can find, swiping fingers on the touchpad. And it's a bit sad that they're lacking. But having said that those two criticism, I think PopOS is really nice and just the tiling feature is worth the whole distro. It's super nice, well implemented, shows you uh, where the window is going to land and that tabbed window is perfect. So very nice, plus one, I liked it.